opportunity. Mr. Speaker, let me take this opportunity to send my condolences to the family of William Mayange, who was killed in Maseno. Mr. Speaker, even as we speak in this house, there is a family that is grieving, and you can never recover a lost child. So I just want to say, Paul, to the family of William for the loss, a necessary loss of a youthful life. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya says all sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya and shall be exercised only in accordance with the Constitution. And Article 1, 2 says the people may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through elected representative. And Mr. Speaker, one of the members who was speaking, my dear friend who I interrupted as she was speaking, was saying that we speak here and we should not speak outside and we should not let our representative speak. I want to educate her that Article 1, 2 of the Constitution gives that right that we can exercise our mandate directly. And when we demonstrate, we are exercising it directly. So we cannot be having tyranny in the house. We can also have tyranny outside the house. Yes. Mr. Speaker, I also just want to say that Article 37, and I want to agree with members across the divide, and I want to thank Honorable uh, Muya for speaking very soberly and saying that Article 37 allows for picketing and peaceful picketing. And I want to say both our side and their side are saying the same language. Let us have picketing which is allowed under Article 37 with no condition because the constitution does not give condition except peaceable except peaceable picketing and Mr. Speaker in peaceable, peaceable picketing the mandate lies with the police the citizen of Kenya does not have arms Mr. Speaker those who maintain peace and order are the police Mr. Speaker I also want to say that those who are killed, as we have heard from the boy who was killed in Maseno, was killed by the police. And I also want to add that when the business community restrained from doing their business, they restrained from doing their business because of fear mongering by people like my good friend, uh, who I don't want to mention lest he can stay a point of order. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that those who close their businesses close because of fear mongering. And we know my friend who does fear mongering. Mr. Speaker, because I know other members want to speak, I want to say this. I want to thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving this House direction. That it is actually wrong for us to be mentioning other people who are not here and giving them, calling them names, like regrettably my good friend, Honorable Chungwa, called Honorable Raila an urban terrorist. Mr. Speaker, if it weren't for your order, I could also have called on a Boruto national terrorist. But because of your order, I'm not calling him a national terrorist, Mr. Speaker. And finally, Mr. Speaker, finally, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that my good friend, Honorable Ichungwa, must tell us whether he's also of the LGBTQ community because of his preoccupation with Uru Mugai Kenyatta. That guy is a man, Buana. Don't be too preoccupied with Honorable Uru Mugai Kenyatta. Oh, no.